What is up, you two? <laughs> We're on the top of Mount Washington, 6,500 feet in the air. You all the mods I've done, whether I would do them again or not. Check this video out. There's links in all my previous videos of how to put a lot of these parts on and where I got them with links. Okay, first mod, LED head bulb light, really white, almost bluish color, super bright. Definitely would do that again. One of the first mods I would do. Denali front turn signals, low and high beam, and rear turn signals. Definitely would do these again. Really bright, kind of that white light, like the headlight, it matches up really nice. And the high and low beams are great just for lighting around the bike. Okay, the JSR handlebars, I think these are the 10 or 12 inch. These work without doing any extensions or anything on them. I would definitely do these handlebars again. They bring your arms up more than the standard ones. They also have kind of a widespread. I would like more of a tighter T-bar type feel, but this is the only option for this bike and definitely an improvement over the standard one. The handlebars are pretty comfortable right now. I'm more looking for straight, outright, up like this. Okay, the power outlet, definitely obviously had to do that. You gotta charge your phone while you're running. If you're four or five hours on the road, it will die. Super easy, maybe 40 bucks. These are Kuryakin highway pegs. I would definitely do these again. I like to stretch my legs out, reposition on the seat. Either way, it's great to be able to do when you're on long rides. These ones you can actually position in a bunch of different ways. You can pull it back towards you, push it away more. These can change, flip either way. Very versatile, they work really well. The Freedom Pipes, two into one. 100% would do this probably right off the bat. It sounds amazing. And once you do the Ivan tune with it, there's no backfire. It's great. Super loud when you're on the pipes. When you're running, it's fine. Nice even. All right, guys, so the Ivan Flash, 100% would we'll do it again. It makes the bike run cooler, definitely faster and smoother, 100 times better. You gotta do it with every bike. I did try to use a fuel pack tuner. They do not work on this bike. I had it custom tuned with a Dynajet. Could not get the kinks out of it. The Ivan Flash did all of that. So just tell them what your pipe is, what your filter is. I do have a K&N filter and a stock housing. Definitely the Ivan Flash over the Dynajet fuel charger. All right, so I put the engineered adapters on this and six and a half inch Marine Kicker speakers. They're pretty loud. You definitely are gonna need an amp if you wanna really rip this thing. And there's not the best Bluetooth option to sync your phone with the head unit. So you're gonna have to replace the head unit. I use AirPods quite a bit and I always use a closed mask. I usually just run with those. I don't know if I do the stereo again or not. People that are running without a helmet on or with an open face, you might wanna do it. These are the Kuryakin ISO grips. I like these for grips. They let your hands breathe. The air kind of runs in between these little slots. And the cushion on them is really good. Cuts down on the vibration. Definitely would buy those again. They're decent mirrors. There's enough where you can see behind you. They follow the lines of the bike and the windshield really well. Definitely would buy those again. You can make the adjustments on right here and also right down on here. All right, this RAM mount for your cell phone, I've had a lot of good luck with it. Some people have said that this will actually bounce your phone out while you're on the road. 
Mine has this rubber gasket that you fit on the sides of it, and that holds it in really well. I've never had a problem. The phone never comes loose. If anything, it almost seems to kind of stick to this pad. I would definitely buy this again. It just attaches with a clamp right down onto the bar, so you can really put it wherever you want. This is a Custom Dynamics license plate frame. Really high quality. I had to have somebody custom mount this. It's actually made for a Harley. Super solid. All right, so inside the bags, I have Curiakin saddlebag organizers. A drink here, hand sanitizer, little zipper pocket. I keep windshield wipes in here, extra napkins in here. There's another one on the other side. They just stick with Velcro on the back. These are super handy. I would probably keep these with any bike I have. It just helps keep picking some of the stuff up that are in your saddlebag loose. Kawasaki factory passenger floorboards. As you can see, they kind of match with the standard ones that come for the driver. They do have a good amount of pad and cushioning in here. I think it's a huge improvement. I like footrests a lot better than just the pegs. It's more secure, better for the passenger. All right, so I have the Clockworks eight or 10 inch windshield. I would say I would buy this again. I love the looks of it. It follows the lines of the bike really well. It does a good job of putting the wind, I would say up top and around the sides of your helmet is a driver. The passenger, I don't think it does a really good job with it. If you're going for efficiency, I would definitely go with a taller windshield that's gonna block more wind. Or I think I would just leave the standard one on. The standard one only comes up about here and there's not barely any buffeting at all. The wind hits you directly. This does do a good job of hitting bugs or whatever and shooting it right up over you. You can see it's got a pretty big lip on it. So I like the looks of it. Throw me a like on there if you're having fun with the video and it's helping you out. Subscribe, we got more content coming out. Thanks for watching everybody.